my name's Hope and I'm a bird keeper here at the Baton Rouge Zoo. This is my friend Willard. Willard is a sulfur crested cockatoo, as you can tell by the yellow feather on the top of his head. Uh, Willard and I actually have something in common. We are both 22 years old, except I am a little bit older than him. Hi Willard. He's gonna be a little shy for you. Uh, I just put some enrichment in here, in here for him to play with. There's some peanuts hidden in these cups underneath the paper and he caught on to the secret. So sulfur crested cockatoos are normally from Australia, New Guinea, New Zealand, Indonesia, different parts of those countries. And they usually stay in flocks of 12 to hundreds of birds. Uh, they have a nesting site where they nest and then during the day they fly to a feeding area where they usually forage off the ground and then in the evening, they'll fly back to their nesting site. Uh, here at the zoo, he gets most of his social interaction with us keepers and the public, which unfortunately is lacking recently. Uh, we also feed him a variety of fruits and veggies and parrot pellet, which is a nice nutritious pellet for him to eat. So this is just an example of a diet that he might eat. In the wild, these birds are searching for fruits and vegetables on their own. They're looking for grains and seeds and different nuts and possibly even insects, but most of them are herbivorous. Uh, Willard's favorite treats are peanuts, so I really like to do enrichment uh, with puzzle feeders where I hide nuts or different parts of his diet in things that he has to use his brain to interact with. So just like the enrichment that I gave him here today. Hi Willard, do you want a nut? Oh, so good. He's very intelligent. Uh, he can say a lot of phrases. They can mimic uh, different animals. They can also mimic things that people say. So he's great at saying hello. He's great at saying cockatoo. Uh, he will say pretty bird. And guests have caught on to this and they know Willard by name and they like to come to the zoo and have a conversation with him. Hi Willard, what you doing? Yeah, pretty bird, what you doing? Here at the zoo, we use positive reinforcement techniques when we train with our animals. So if I ask Willard to do a behavior and he does it, I will reward him with something that he likes. Uh, if he doesn't want to participate in training or uh, just doesn't feel like doing the behavior that I ask him, he doesn't have to and he can ignore me and that's totally fine. I'll never force him to do anything he doesn't want to do. Good job, that was like a half spin. I don't have any more peanuts. When the zoo is open, definitely come back to visit Willard. He is in Birds of the World across from the administration building.